Hey guys, Jigdoms Prime here, back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, the mission we're about to do is this question mark. I have no idea what it's about, but we're about to find out. Uh, let me grab some guns real quick, just in case if it's a firefight. There we go. Well, hello, stranger. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Hey, can I say <laughs> something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you well, on the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. A car's money, of I'm course. <laughs> I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Pretty General, eyes. An appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting. I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. No. <laughs> Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right. And we are here. All right, let's see what's going on. Why, well, hello. How you doing, Mrs. Zedler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. 
Uh oh. Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, if you're more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> if you're more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Yes, might... Lenny. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. Uh-oh. What is that? Holy jeez. Wait, who is that? Oh my god. What no? I that was terrifying. Time to get revenge. Just took them all on. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor oh. kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him? That's terrible. Near, but not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. That's terrible, oh, man. Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. Oh, no. So can I. Oh, no. We need to get moving. Away from Ooh. here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Ah. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. All right, trolley station it is. Shall we? Yep. Just dump them off in the lake somewhere, or the river, or whatever. Just dump them off. Let the alligators eat them. Whew. That, that just went from 0 to 100 real fast. Oh. I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. Mm-hmm. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Yes, my beard is coming back. But now I look like the crimson chin. We are here. Oh, Dutchie Poo. Dutchie Poo, where are you? Oh, Dutchie. Oh, here you are. Yo, 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 how's it going? Come on, keep walking. You're late. Sorry. In this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. No questions we'll asked. Here, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Oh, jeez. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. Ooh, and where? Oh. We are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know <laughs> if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place is already money. Come on. Well, I don't even have my Ladies guns ready. Gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember. Oh wait, no, 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 don't give it to me. Don't make us kill you. Damn. Mr. M, leave Jim, these fine saw? folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Open that gate and let my acquaintance 
I, I guess I gotta rob him. Damn. Open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Of course. I guess I gotta rob him. Give me all your money. There's nothing now. much here. Okay. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. You don't want to hurt any of them. Mr. M. Check the safe. I shall move. Open it. Yeah, open it. I don't think they keep much cash in. Open it. Is that a gold brick, or is that just a yellow? There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Uh oh. Got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Oh no. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think it seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? Yes. Seems like a good idea. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. All right, let's go on that trolley. Go now. Oof. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? <laughs> Oh, well, there goes his eyeball. Look out on the right. We got some of those alleyways, or end up on that balcony. We got some of those alleyways. Arthur, help Lenny out there. You all right there, kid? I think so. Yeah, he should be all right. Don't worry, we're going to make through it. We're going to make through this. Oh, uh, all right, I'm switching sides. That's an order. Yeah, like we're gonna stop. Yeah. All right, all right, I'll try to. Uh, all right, all right, chill. All right, time to slow it down. Uh, uh, uh oh. The thing's broke. The th yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. And there we go. Oh, that must hurt. Like a son of a bitch. Dutch. And that's how Dutch got his that that's why Dutch went crazy, I'm guessing. He just hit his head too hard. Okay, cause I did hear that that's how Dutch goes nuts. He hit his head too he hit his head too hard. Oh, there we go. Got that dude. Watch out. Got someone about to be here. Oh, really? Just keep shooting till nothing moves. Yeah, it's a nothing moves, Lenny. Oh. Come on. All right. Shoo. Lenny, wait up. Is that Lenny up there? Nope, that's Vandalin. Nope. Vandalin was behind me. Alright. Lenny, wait up. Alright, Lenny. Yeah. Well, yeah, Dutch is definitely gonna wake up, even though he's kind of nuts at this time, or he's going to become nuts. Oh, in the chest. There goes his head. Blow his brains out. Blow his brains out. Blow his brains out. I said blow his brains out. There we go. Dutch, you good? Never mind. You're just having a brain injury right now. 
What? Ow. Alright. My hat! No, 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 no. What the hell? All right, I'm on the wagon. Oh, it's gr brutal. Oh, ah, his chin. If he even had one. That's not good. Alright, I got rid of him. Well, of course, I'm not gonna give up. We just robbed the place for nothing. Oh! I love, I love the gore in this game. I mean, even though it can get a little grotesque at some points, like, uh... Karen's death, or however you say his name. The kid. Oh, shit. I don't think Arthur's a good aim with two pistols. Oh! Just... Back of his head just wasted. All right, come on, come on, Lenny. Oh, no. Oh, shit. All right, come on, Lenny. There we go. Whew. Nah. Yeah, just keep on going, Lenny. Wait, did your hat teleport on you? Bounty of 165? I could pay that off. Oh, jeez. That was ridiculous. You know what, Dutch? Uh-oh. Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got $15. Don't wow. And a quarter. Don't <laughs> get the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. <laughs> Set us up. Played me like a yokel. Doesn't mean fiddle. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? What, what do you can think? I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. Then we go rob his place. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? Rob him. Rob him. Rob him. We need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Especially after that. I don't feel so good. Hey, you just uh, got poof. On the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Don't worry, Lenny. You did good. All right, next place. And we are here. Yo, how's it going? Whoa. Hey, what's up? You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Danbury? He's in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files hmm. are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. 
Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide <laughs> in the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Ooh. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Alright, bet. There we go. All right. This should be fun. Um Hello? All right. I'm going to start loading up. All right. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, Arthur. Why are you being so slow? Oh shit, this is not gonna be good. Do, 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 do. Well, hello there, sir. You must be damn Barry. Who? Oh, oh. <laughs> Quiet oh. yourself, friend. This won't take long. Yeah, this won't take long at all. Hi, Dan Barry. Come here. Why, thank you. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Oh, oh shit. Danbury. 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 You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. It's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Oh, yeah. Now be quiet, young man. Wee! All right, here we go. And oh shit! Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Yeah, but we need to get the help. Ah, follow me. Ah! Now give me that money. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank Oof. You. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. I wouldn't take it. I'd I'd let him keep it. But okay. Do I get honor? Come on, give me some honor. Oh what the hell? And we are here. Let's see what Dutch Vandalin needs. Yep. We need some ammo, that's what we need. Sorry. Arthur, come up here. Okie dokie. I'm a coming. I'm coming, Daddy Dutch. What you need? What you oh, need, Dutch? Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Oh uh, what? Oh great. We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. Just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Hmm, are you Before sure about that? Here is out. We are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. You in Tahiti. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. 
I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well... Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. His, uh, his head trauma is already getting to him. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Yeah, if you say so. Arthur, it does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. All right, all right, all right. A boat? A settlement called La Grande. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Thomas the Tank Engine? A boat so we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Why the swamp? He oh. knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. Alright. Okay, makes sense. Somewhat. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Yeah, I need to shave Arthur's uh, okay, chin. Alright, I guess I'll see y'all where Dutch is taking us. Jeez, Dutch is kind of a, a, a dick now. He was calling Arthur small-minded. Like, what the hell, man? But yeah, that head injury is getting to him. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, quite literally. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. <laughs> we need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. If anyone can, I can. We'll pay All right, good. trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Yeah. Arthur? Why not? Huh. Yeah, why not? It shouldn't take too long if we can find him. I didn't get a new chair, it's too squeaky. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Oh, great. Number. Big ones. Great. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. A monster? You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. And where'd he go? Yeah. It's, it's out there. What? A big gator. Okay, alligator. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. It's all right, man. It's all right. And where did this monster swim off to? What do you mean that way? Uh, it's a good thing you got me, Arthur. What are you doing? Arthur? Oh, never mind. The game's taking control of it. Alright, here we go. And boy, oh boy, is it stuck. <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy. Sweet. Oof. Oh shit. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. it won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Yeah, yeah it is. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near. Got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. 
Well, of course. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Yeah. It'll be all right. We got you. Come on, put your back into it. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh Jules. shit. What? Alright, alright, fine. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming, Jules. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Come here, come here, boy. I got you. Come on, come on, don't worry. It's okay, I got you. Is one of his legs gone? No, both of his legs still there. Dutch, please shoot something. I'm hurt. I'm what? Holy shit! Go, go. Take him, take him, take him. Come on, get me up in the boat. Oh. Is this thing from Resident Evil 2? Come on, come on, reload. Oh shit. That is a fat ass gator. Where'd he go? Holy cow, that was a dinosaur. You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Yeah. I guess <laughs> well, yeah. he outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, he's a big monster, uh, too. Feed him garlic for the infection. Garlic? Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. All right. Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I don't know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got muscles, I think. How's it going, fellas? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Oh God, my face! Tom. It's shaving. Right you are. Now we got good old Lenny, Bill, Johnny boy, Dutch Van Dolen. Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. Uh, Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts a moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What, what a you dick! What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killer. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. Well, like leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we got this? Oh. Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Hey, look, there's a fat gator. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Bronte! Oh, ha <laughs> ha that sucks. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. 
No, name your price. Name your price, every man every price. Eh? He's gonna get shot. I surrender. I surrender. Oh. Nah, Alright. Alright, come on, throw him on there. Lenny? Come on, Lenny. Lenny, come on. We gotta go. Alright, come on. Let's get out of here. Whew. Hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pussy. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men. Dead. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. <laughs> right into the ground. When the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the uh -oh. man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so uh -oh. right. They are good at smelling filth, um, huh? The so Dutch? has got to be disposed of. Oh, damn. Oh. going to come and rescue you, you uh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. Oh, damn. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Uh, yeah, he kind of has a point, but Dutch is kind of going a bit mad. They both think that that was a little too far. Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's the city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. If we linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. City cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. Yeah, moving fast. Doing it in the day for the distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No. Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly even blackwater from my understanding you're right well of course he's right he's hosea let's rob this bastard everyone get some rest we ride out in the morning look smart travel light so can i have all my guns ah you got everything on hey, hey. sure so we rob ourselves a bank and within Six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Sweet Let's banana farmers. God forsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, fellas, we're here. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to rob a bank. Another one. I think it's another one. Uh, yeah, you heard him. Nice and easy. 
That doesn't look suspicious at all. It's weird how Michael's the only one wearing white. It's because he's always killing people. Oh my god, he's death! Because death is white. And the one of the Bibles, he's white. But, uh, you know, that that's just some crazy theory, I guess. Let's hitch up here. Lemoyne. That's a... F uh, it's a it's a weird name, Lemoyne, but I guess Florida's a weird weird name too. If they are, okay, I'm in. Oh, there we go. Woo! There's just a bunch of papers. How come GTA puts gold bricks and diamonds? While and while in this game is paper money, <laughs> not gold like a GTA, but, eh. Think we got a problem out here. Oh, you think? Come out. It's over. Shit. Oh, that I pistol looks death. ugly. Get oh, shit. Get out here now. Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friends go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You this is America. A deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. Oh, no. No. Oh, come on. No, Jose, no. Dutch. Jose. No. There we go. Alright. I can't believe they just killed Jose. I actually, he was actually a pretty cool character. I liked him. Come on, jump over that, Arthur. There you go. Oh. Are we supposed to go? There we go. Arthur. We lost John. Killed what? I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. So if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Yeah, come on, Lenny. Let's go. Don't worry, Lenny. I'm, I'm right behind you. Lenny, look out. Lenny, no. No. Oh, God, no. There's nothing we can do. We gotta keep moving. What the fuck? Lenny was one of my favorites. Come on, man. Wait, what do you Oh, shit. Alright. Damn. I'm actually a little hurt. Oh shit, yeah, I, f I feel like Micah is the one that's snitching. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? 
They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Could I have saved we Lenny? We out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. Jeez, I, I could have probably saved I mean, Lenny. Look at us. Jeez, that's gonna... That's weighing me down a bit. Knowing that Lenny died, that, that kind of... That hurts a little. Could I have saved him? I hope I could have. I just... I wasn't paying attention like always. I'll deal with them. How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What no. are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. He's real brave. Yeah. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! Oh my that god. This is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're about to make it. We're about to make it. And we made it, I think. What now? Mm. Well, at least we got some gold. I'm sure. Yeah. There's For what? There's probably going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John. Lenny. Jose. That wasn't good. I oh, know. My heart. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How can he not hear know. us? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Uh, can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Oh, my God. Well, it's going to take a little more gold, but I think we're going to be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Oh, really? Now, apparently, we're going to be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Cuba? Apparently. So, we're not going to be on the regular map anymore. Oh, that's sweet. What are we going to do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With mm -hmm. that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? No, it doesn't. Oh, shit. That is not good. Loading, 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 loading. Wake up! Everybody, wake up! Wake, wake up. up! Put a little bit of a makeup. Wake, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat. You come on! Jeez, I wonder what's going on. Gee, what the hell is going on? Oh! Okay, never mind. He's okay. Oh, this boat's sinking. 
try and find another way. Oh, God damn it! Jeez, what the hell's going on? Holy shit, what happened? Yeah, what the hell happened? Why is it on fire? Don't do it, Arthur. Oh, what? Well, they're all doing it. Shit. That is crazy. That's some scary stuff right there. Because where are you going to go? If the boat sinks, everyone's going to be stranded out in the middle of the water. And here I, I did I really wash up on shore? <laughs> That's like a cartoon type stuff right there. Welcome to the new world. Oh. <coughs> Holy shit, I wonder what happened. Or I mean I know what happened, it's just I wonder how he feels. Hello? Chapter 5! Chap a new chapter, a new map. Washed ashore. Dutch? Hold You're alive. Arthur? You're, you're alive. <laughs> They're alive too. How long have they been there? It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Jeez. We got you. We got you. Like, have they only been there for like maybe a few hours? It couldn't be a couple of days, because it was a couple of days. Arthur should be dead. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarm. Guarm. Yeah, that's the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island. East of Cuba. Is it anywhere near <laughs> Jeez. Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So what next? Oh, that ain't good. I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Okay, I'm straight. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor Por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. <laughs> All this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos. Okay. Oh. Oh, damn. Let's go. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I wonder what's going down now. Whoo! There we go. Uh, 
Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Mount Chiliad. That's his name. Reinforcements. <laughs> We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fabit, everyone, follow me. All right. Fabit, Fabit, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. But he survives. We gotta move, Dutch. Don't lose pace, son. We'll find you. Kui, Kui, go, go. All right, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Holy shit. Huh, something's not right with Arthur. Ooh, hey, it's my gun. Or or not, never mind. Come on. Follow me. Quick. Alright, we'll follow you. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. I went we are. Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. Don't worry, we'll be careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Nice. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. Damn. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers and then come meet me at the fort. Alright. You help us get back our friend and get out of here. We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. He will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well. Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. Relax? What relax? I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting. Carefully. Yeah, I wouldn't trust Micah with the temple pole. Hey, look at some deer. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Ooh. Welcome to the new world. Uh, you don't say. All right, let's see what these weapons are, real quick. Oh, they're my old ones. Oh, my shoot gun. How you be, baby? Oh, what the hell is this? I don't know. Well, let me look. All right, one more gun. Uh, where is it? Well, I want this one. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's going to be a haul for right now, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Make to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. Alright, guys, this is Jake Miss Prime, signing out. Peace out.